This uh, question covers the young modelers, bookstore. Uh, so, uh, the wire X is stretched by force and gains elastic potential energy E. The same force is applied to wire Y of the same material with the same initial length, but twice the diameter of wire X. Both wires obey the bookstore. What is the gain in elastic potential energy of wire Y? So first of all, first of all, the forces are the same. So if I consider the force applied on uh, x is f x, and the force uh, applied on uh, y is f y, and both are the same. That means f x equals f y equals f because the force are the same. And another thing, the length, the initial length, is the same. So l x equals l y equals f at the same material and it says same material the same materials means the young modulus e of the both material same ex equals e y young modulus of x equals to the young modulus of y that is same now <clears throat> they said the wire x the wire y is the twice the diameter of x. So here we go. As you know, the area in terms of diameter is pi by 4 d square. So the if I consider the cross section area of wire x is pi d square upon 4, right? Pi d square upon 4, and the a y is the area of y is the twice of the diameter. So pi 2 d square over 4, which is 4 pi d square upon and pi d square upon 4 is dx, so it is 4 dx. So we calculated that the cross section area of y y is equal to the 4 times area of cross section area of x. Right? So means the area of uh, y y is 4 times thicker than the wire x. So ax ay is equal to equals 4 dx. So now if, uh, consider the fact that the young models of the both wire are the same, so that means f over a. If you know the formula of a uh, young models, which is f over a into l, or which is the length divided by the extended extension. So f over a x equals l over b x f over and and, and and a y is four times x over so it over l. l is equal l over e y. So after simplification, it will become e y equals one over four e x. So e y is 0.25 times greater than e x. Okay, e y is equals to 0.25 of e x. So if to uh, if we see the formula of uh, the gravitational uh, elastic potential which is half of e x. So if e x and e y f are in f, f is the same for both, half is constant. So that means if e is there and if we replace for e y e x, which is 0.25 of e x, that means the e y will be 0.25 uh, greater than times greater than of elastic potential of y x. So uh, e, e, e p e equals to as it is the uh, is equals to e as it is uh, given. So e equals half f into e x for x and for y e y is half f into e y. So e y equals to half of f and for the replace e y as 0.25 of e x. So one over two f e x it becomes e. And 0.25 e. So e y means elastic potential of y y is 0.25 times of elastic potential of y x. So uh, if we do practice, then we we come with the conclusion very easily when uh, we uh, concluded that the uh, elastic uh, uh, extension of y 
is equals to the 0.25 was section of x so it is 0.25 and both are in the denominator and all the uh, the forces are the same so this means e means e p e elastic potential will also 0.25 return so option a is the right